All right, we are live, y'all. <clears throat> I got something special. I got something special planned for you guys. I got uh, the uh, the brand new, the brand new stuff. We got an unboxing to do. Where's it from? Where's it from? Oh, it's from Cascray, y'all. It's from Cascray. Cascray's in the house. Uh, but I figured I'd do this because um, Wednesday we're actually going down to Tennessee to the Dale Hollow Shootout. And I wanted to make sure we uh, we previewed what's in this box because it's special to me because it is a good buddy of mine who uh, who has got his own bait box by Cask right now, and so we're gonna we're gonna bust it open. There's some other things that are inside here that I want to show you guys. So let's uh, let's just get right into it. All right. First off, we got some Twix. Why is there candy in here? Well, you know, Rick from Cascray is all about the Halloween candy. So I appreciate that. He put candy. Let me watch. In fact, my favorite candy. He put some Three Musketeers in there. Thank you, Rick. No, but for real. <laughs> we got three new products inside the box. Well, what are they? First off, let me show you the small one. <laughs> oh, sad. We got the tumbler. The Cast Cray tumbler. Ooh, buddy. I'm going to be sipping some, some hot bourbon cider out of this. Bring this down to Tennessee. Might be sipping some moonshine. Who knows? And, of course, I mean, this is one of those. I don't know if this is Yeti brand or what do you got, but it's like a Yeti-style cup anyway. Heck, yeah. And then the gigantic one. Had to get the big one. Had to get the big one. Boom. Cast Cray, outdoors. Big old tumbler. These are just for me. These, this is just something I wanted. I, I wanted the Cast Cray stuff, so that's it. And if you know why I'm looking here, I got TikTok here and I got YouTube right here. Now, now. Let's get to the reason I wanted to do this unboxing for you guys. I'm so pumped for this. We've got oh, my dude, my dude, the Cincy Fish dude. Heck yeah. Paul from Cincy Fish Dudes has got his own box. We're going to bust it out. We're going to explore. We're going to see what's inside. Mike, what's going on, sir? All right, right off the rip, you know, you get the signed, you get the signed Cincy Fish Dude Collector's Edition baseball card, fishball card. <laughs> Look at that, heck yeah. Make sure you collect all five of them. You know, that'll go right next to, right next to, oh, right next to the Matt's Fish and Mission card. Buddy. So if you're collecting these and you get signed versions, if you get all of them, well, I'm sure there'll be one for Bryce and one for Joe from Fitty and uh, some of the other team members that are coming up will have their own boxes. Make sure you collect them all because I think Rick's going to do something special for those of you guys who collect all five or six or however many there's going to end up being. All right, let's dig into it. What's in the kit? Well, first off, you get a limited edition Cincy Fish Dudes pin. Right? You get the Cincy Fish Dudes pin. Put that on your backpack or on your fishing vest. I've already got a couple of these, but I'll gladly go sport another one. All right. Let's get into it. Bunch of soft plastics. There is one hard bait, one of them that I love. And uh, actually, for those of you who are following on YouTube, let's show you what's in the box here, right? 
So we got the uh, the retina diver. The retina diver is in fire crawl. That's a killer bait. Now I use these. I don't. I don't know how Paul. I won't. I won't speak for how Paul uses these, but how I like to use the retina diver is you can see it's a deep diving crankbait, but I like to use use it as like a quick diving crankbait. So if I'm in the creek and the creek's only two, three, four feet, five feet deep, typically you're not going to throw a deep diving crankbait. But what I like to do is throw it against the bank or in a spot that I know has got some depth and it gets down. It digs down immediately because it's got that really long, sharp bill. So plus fire tiger is just, I mean, that's a great color, right? That's awesome. Off the hook, what's going on? What's up, everyone on TikTok? All right, next bait. You guys already know. It is the uh, the Helgies in Bleeding Pumpkin. So if you have not seen the uh, the Cast Gray Helgie, look at these. This is Bleeding Pumpkin. So it's like a green with like a red fleck in it. Heck yeah. Awesome color. Now, the way I like to rig these, I like to rig them. You can rig them any way you want. Paul's got um, the uh, the little jig heads in his in his uh, fishing box. I love to rig these with a small, like, one aught or two aught EWG, uh, like a weighted EWG, and rig them almost sideways. So you get them standing up on the bottom on, like, a Ned rig almost. And just irritating the smallmouth, especially in the cold months. Um, so we got the Helgi. All right. One of my favorite colors. I have not thrown this color in uh, in a paddle tail. You've got the three-inch paddle tail in King Kermit. Now, King Kermit, if you guys know what frog, frog spawn looks like, frog spawn looks like the little green slime with the little dots in it. So King Kermit, appropriately named. And the three-inch paddle tail is nice because you can use the three-inch paddle tail by itself. Um, you can swim it on several different kinds of jigs. Um, you can add it as a trailer. I've put this on a trailer for like a buzz bait. You can put it on a trailer for like a small spinner um, or just use it straight up. Kenny G, what up? Thank you for joining. Okay, now one of the most versatile baits, one of the most versatile baits uh, from Cass Cray is the slug bug. All right. Now, Paul uh, decided to put the slug bug. What, what color? I, I believe this is red bling. Yeah. Red bling. So you got the red bling slug bug. And this also can be, can be rigged and swam, swam, swam a few different ways. I just recently found out that you can swim this. I used a two aught EWG and rigged it and just flapped it across the top as a topwater, almost like, uh, what's that What's that plastic toad that uses for topwater? Similar to that, this works absolutely perfect for that. I use this on topwater and it absolutely blew up some false smallies. So this is, a, this is a really versatile bait. Use it as a punch bait. You can put it on more like a bullet style jig and swim it, but those have really good kicking legs. Someone up on TikTok says, Nick says, hey, I'm looking for a new rod. Do you have any suggestions? Um, yeah, it depends on like what you're fishing for. You going for like panfish? You going for bass? You want something that's kind of versatile? Um, I would suggest two things. I've got uh, the Master Series rod from Cast Cray. Okay, perfect. For bass, the Master Series rod from Cast Cray um, is a, it's a medium action rod, one piece rod. And uh, it is, it's amazing. Uh, it's super durable. Um, it's got really, really good balance. Um, and it's not going to break the bank either. In fact, you can use my code MFM10 to save you 10% on it. Um, I've been throwing it around. And I'll tell you what, hold on one second. I'll go get the rod. I've got it hooked up over here. All right. So I've got one that I haven't even hooked up yet, but the other one's in the car. 
Um, so they they uh, they did a, a, a combination with Lures Pro. And they came out with a Master Series rod, one piece rod. It's got a nice matte gray finish to it, and it's a one piece rod uh, made for spinning. Um, but I highly highly recommend getting the Master Series rod from Cast Cray. Um, I've been throwing the Crappie Pro uh, rod for a while too. Um, from Cast Cray, and it's a it's a light action, so I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's get back to Paul's box. I don't. I'm getting. I'm getting out of focus here. All right. So, of course, smallmouth fishing. You know, you're going to want to throw a Ned rig, right? So, Paul picked out the nubs in, I uh, believe, what is this? Pumpkin slime. Yes, pumpkin slime. So this is a fusion color. So the pumpkin slime. Has uh, what is it? Green slime and bleeding pumpkin. So it's a half and half fusion bait. You can see it's got the half and half color. And this is our Ned rig. Uh, Cast Cray calls it the nub. So if you're throwing Ned rigs at all, the nub is Cast Cray's Ned rig. Heck yeah, Billy Outdoors. They are great, man. I'm telling you. Um, if you're not familiar with throwing a nub or a Ned rig, um, they go on a Ned rig. I've even had success with these. If you put them on a small jig and you rig them up wacky, you can get a really good bite rigging up a Ned rig wacky like that, and it'll it'll entice some good smallmouth bites. So that is the fourth plastic. And similarly to me, we all know me and me and Paul kind of fish the same, the same way. So of course we both picked out. White grub fire because white grub fire is what it is. It is the white grub and it is absolute fire. So it's a uh, it's a two inch uh, two about a two and a half inch grub. And uh, man, um, I hooked into tonight. I hooked into like a three pound smolly on this. I was on live on TikTok and uh, man, everyone was going nuts. And I had him like two feet from the bank and he just gave me the old one two punch out shook himself loose it was it was heartbreaking it was heartbreaking all right so i want to bring this up uh, over on youtube i've got the split screen over on youtube so let's look at this right we have got boom the uh, so you get the obviously you get the card you get you get paul's card i mean the man's a legend he's a cincinnati fishing legend <laughs> So you get the paddle tails in King Kermit. You get the Helgies in the Bleeding Pumpkin. You get the Grubs, White Grub Fire. You get the Slug Bugs in Red Bling. You get a Retina Diver. This is the Fire Crawl color. You get the Retina Diver. Um, what, what else did I say? Uh, oh, you get the Jig Heads. The Jig Heads. And you get, what is this, 10? of the one sixteenth ounce jig heads in the box and made by Paul, you get a commemorative limited edition once in a lifetime since he fish dudes pin to sport your love for the dude who fishes Cincy. That's Cincy fish dudes. So that is the box y'all. And you know what? I am actually fishing with Paul tomorrow. And I think I'm just going to use this tomorrow. I think this is all I'm taking. I'm taking the, the Cincy Fish Dudes box, and we'll make it a day of fishing with Paul's box. Something else I'm bringing. I didn't tell him about this yet. But tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a little catch and cook i have been forever i be i keep saying i've been forever saying i want to do a catch and cook with rock bass i've never had a rock bass and everyone tells me that rock bass are absolutely delicious so i'm going to get out my little fire stove i'm going to crank it on there and catch me a couple big old juicy rock bass um i've got some uh i've got some mountain meals so I think I think the way to do it, I don't want to do like fish tacos or something on the bank. I want it to be easy, right? So I'm going to fillet it up. And then um, let's see. 
what should I mix? What should I mix with rock bass? Biscuits and gravy? I'm gonna say no right off the bat. Not biscuits and gravy. Chicken and dumplings? Could, could. Chicken and chicken and fish dumplings? Rock bass dumplings? Rock bass and dumplings. I, maybe. I don't know. Not maybe. Okay. We got beef stew. Little little rock bass stew. We could go rock bass stew. I could do rock bass stew. Or we could do teriyaki. Rock bass teriyaki. I think rock bass teriyaki might might be the jam. You guys tell me. What should I? <laughs> what should I? What should I? Uh, what should I go with here? Should it be? Should it be teriyaki? I'm feeling teriyaki rock bass. I feel like that's the jam. Best fish is on a campfire with no oil. Just put it on a stick and get that smoky flavor. You know what? I would do that if it was like a camp out situation, but this is going to be like catch it, get on the side of the bank, eat it, get back to fishing, throw it back in there. So I think we're just, we're just going to throw it in the old dehydrated meal bag. And uh, well, probably I'll take a few bites. I want to throw some butter in there and some spice. Take a few bites just to see what it is by itself. And then we'll add it to a little meal. We'll make this our, our, uh, our Creekside lunch. That'd be awesome. If you guys are just joining in, of course, other than the Paul's Cincy Fish Dudes Pro Box, um, Cascray has got a, actually a bunch of new stuff. So the uh, kicking, uh, the kicking live well, I think it, I forget, forget what it's called, the live well juice. In fact, let's uh, let's pull that up. Hold on, let's let's pull it up. If you're over on YouTube, let's go to the live well juice. I want to show you this stuff. So if you're a tournament fisherman and uh, the keep them, keep them kicking, live well juice. So if you if you're over on YouTube, you can see the split screen. If not, um, you're not going to see it. <laughs> so the keep them kicking live well juice is essentially a treatment for your live well if you're turn if you're a tournament fisherman, um, and it uh, it basically helps revive and 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 de-stress the the fish. Um, it keeps their slime coat on, uh, gives them electrolytes, and just I don't know keeps an overall healthy fish uh, and a more productive day on the water. So you don't get docked for you know getting penalized uh, for bringing a dead fish back to the weigh-in, and to just you know if you're just keeping a keeping a bag of fish in the live well, it'll keep them keep them kicking as it says all right what else is brand new on the site we got the let's see there is a, a hook a hook out tool hook out tool forget what the name of it well, there it is there it is boom all right the easy hook out tool 9.99 you guys know if you if you got a, a fish that's gut hooked and you need to you need to get that fish hook out deep in the depths of its gullet the old hookout tool. Now, what I'm about to show you is what I just got. Old mugs. There we go. So, you got the tumbler. Get the tumbler. It's $24.99. Cast crate tumbler. And then, uh, well, the well, the the big 30 ouncer. This is a big 30 ouncer. And then, of course, we've got the uh, Smaller one. What is the price? A 16 ounce, maybe? 12 ounce. So you got a handle mug. So it's like a coffee mug, essentially. Same price, $24.99. Heck yeah. Both of them come with lids. Both of them come with the sip lids. Going down to Tennessee, going down to the Dale Hollow shootout with Rick from Cass Gray here in just a couple days. So I'll be excited to. Uh, Get my sippy sip on. Maybe bring some bourbon down there. Heck yeah! Let's let's look at this again. Man. Look how much bait you get in there, and it comes with a tackle box. Like you don't need anything. You know, they just, the the the, the cast boxes don't come with a useless cardboard box. Who wants to deal with that? This comes.
but she gone. I don't know. YouTube died, so I guess it's just me and you, TikTok. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him, go to TikTok. You guys uh, can't see me? I don't know what happened. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, I don't know what happened with the YouTube feed. All right, watch you all the time here in Cincy. Well, thank you. I was just out uh, today. We caught a couple smallies, we caught a rock bass, we caught a green sunfish. Um, and then I started talking about, you know what? I kept talking about all year long. I wanted to do a rock bass catch and cook. The old catch and cook, stream side. And I haven't done it. And I'm going to be fishing with Paul, the man, the myth, the legend, tomorrow. And I figured, you know what? I might just take, I might just take the old burner stove set up and see if we can have a little catch and cook for some rock bass. Specifically rock bass. I want to find some Rockies. <laughs> What have y'all been catching? What have y'all been on lately? And if anyone wants to join in live on, on TikTok or on YouTube, YouTube, you need to have your, my contact information. I'll just send you an invite. TikTok, if you get anyone wants to go live, hit me up. Chat about some fishing. Yeah, I still have some of the Cascray spice. Cascray used to sell spice. And uh, it uh, it was nearing its expiration, and he didn't re-up, continue selling it on the site. But I got a bunch of it still, and it's still primo. And so I'm going to bring some of the Cascray Spice on the creek tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Mike said, Mike's out fishing says, Neds are on fire right now. You know what? I was throwing the Helgi Ned rigged, and it was on fire. Lack of rain in the area has some streams very low. I tell you what, I was in the creek today, and it was probably the lowest I have ever seen. Like, so the river where, I, where I'm at does like a river split and then comes back. But usually where it comes back, there's a good trickle. It was dead, calm, nothing was there. There was a giant beaver dam, which was not there a few months ago. Beaver has been working overtime. So it pulled up a bunch of water, which was cool because it gave me some more spots to fish. Not much luck this weekend. Well, dang, Mr. Brockway. Um, hey, you know the secret spot over on the Cuyahoga. Go fish that spot. <laughs> Man, I can't tell you how much I want to get back there. Might as well dig into some of the some of the goodies. Oh, I forgot. I got an extra little sampy pack. What did he give me? Paddle tail, little baby paddle tails and baby bass. This is actually a little bit extra special to me because I remember suggesting the baby bass as a color. And when I was there at Cascray headquarters, Rick cooked it up. Rick cooked up baby bass color and it's now an official color. Heck yeah. And I got some Halloween candy <laughs> as an unboxing gift. Thanks, Rick. I appreciate you, dude. Oh, the water's too deep there. That's fair. Where are you at, Mike? Thanks. Hey, Sunfish. I'm repping, dude. I'm repping. You know I gotta rep the SFK. But thank you, Kieran. <clears throat> Missouri. Mike's out in Missouri. He said they're getting blown out. The rivers are blown out and chocolate milk from the storms. I'll tell you what, it has not made its way over to uh 
Ohio yet. I'm over here in Cincinnati and has not made its way. Again, if anyone wants to go live to chit chat about fishing or whatever's <laughs> going on or just to say hello, uh, over on YouTube, let me know and I can send you an invite if I have your contact info. TikTok, just request if you've got a thousand followers. Do a little chit chat. But the big thing we're going over today ooh, is the Paul from Cincy Fish Dudes Pro Box Kit from Cass Cray. User 25 blah, 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 says he loves to eat fruitcake. That's awesome, dude. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> so we've got the, the grubs, the nubs, the slug bugs, the king kermit paddle tails, the helgies, um, a metric handful of jig heads, and of course, the retina diver and fire tiger i'm excited i think i'm just gonna bring this tomorrow it's all i'm fishing with hey you know it sunfish king i gotta I gotta rep the shirt you know what i'm saying <laughs> heck yeah Yeah, uh, you know, when I get uh, like that kind of chocolate milk water, it's definitely tough for fishing. It's definitely tough for fishing. Um, but I always tend to try to try to target like um, darker baits. Go go darker baits. Darker baits have been shown scientifically anyway to show up to the fish's senses in stained water better than lighter colors do. One caveat to that, which is, uh, it was, uh, I don't want to say surprising to me, but it made sense and I never really thought about it, is no matter if the color is light or dark, if you've got high um, fleck, a high reflective color, uh, you know, uh, additive to your bait, no matter what color it is, it it will definitely absolutely help. So Rick from Cascray came out with the whole bling line. So you've got red bling, gold bling, chartreuse bling, blue bling, blue. That's hard to say. Blue bling, copper bling. Um, this is the red bling. So you can see it's got really, really just tons. I'll show YouTube just tons of glitter fleck in there. And when the sun hits that, whether it's in stained or clear water, um, it, it's, it, it just attracts the fish. Is that a flounder on my shirt? No, it's a sunfish because it's sunfish king. Sunfish king is a uh, YouTuber who I know. He's over here on TikTok as well. Heck yeah. Well, YouTube, I am going to say goodbye to you. Thank you guys for joining in. Yeah, someone on TikTok asked, asked if it was a flounder. flounder. Guys, if you uh, want to join me over here, I'm going to be kicking it up to TikTok. I'm going to end the YouTube live stream. Thank you guys for so much for joining in. Make sure you go and get a Cincy Fish Dude Pro Kit from Cascray. You're going to get his signed card. Collect that. Get all the awesome baits. It's awesome for Greek fishing. I'm going to be fishing with us tomorrow, so expect a video out on YouTube very shortly um, for the uh, the Cincy Fish Dudes box. I'll be fishing with this, and tomorrow, bringing the skillet and the cook stove. We're going to do a catch and cook tomorrow. So, YouTube, I will see you later. TikTok, hang on. I will be right with you.